wish you could see Thomas. This little head out the window. That's what he's doing. Loves having the window down in the car. Welcome to a really exciting episode of the marathon. Today is Thomas's eighth birthday. He is so happy. Like we could just drive today and he would be thrilled. My name's Mayor, this is the marathon. Life's not a sprint, it's a marathon. Lace up and subscribe today. We are heading to go pick up Thomas's grandparents who are in town for a couple of days and his grandpa is gonna go take him swimming. Try to think of things that T-Bone likes on his eighth birthday, this being one of them. So there is some driving involved in today's birthday. We are going to another town and we're going on a steam train, which I think he's gonna love since he loves all kinds of like transportation. And we, a couple days ago, surprised his class and I took in a bunch of pizzas for a pizza party and I filmed a little bit of it. So I'll show you that right now. Look, you can see the steam coming off these pizzas. So I got six pizzas for Thomas's class today. Look at that, look at that. That's how fresh they are. Oh, I'm gonna go deliver joy to his class for his birthday. I'm so happy I did this. I've never done this before. Usually I do Timbits, but I just had to show you the pizza. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Like you ever want to feel like Oprah, like you get a pizza, you get a pizza, you get a pizza. It was amazing. It was so great, uh, so fun. I've done that with Timbits before, which if you're not Canadian, those are like little donut holes, but the pizza party was really fun. So yeah, so I'll bring you along today, let you know how today goes, show you the sights, show you the fun on the train. I actually worked on this train like right out of high school for two summers and I haven't been back in probably a decade. Mm, no, not quite a decade, maybe five years. So I'm, I'm excited. I think he's really gonna like it. Although we could just do this all day and he would be thrilled. Thomas had a fun morning swimming with his grandpa and now we have come to the Kettle Valley Steam Railway and we're gonna go for a ride on the steam train. This one doesn't even know what we're about to do. I think he's really gonna like it.
the train was a big hit. And now we are going to get some sushi for Thomas's birthday, obviously his favorite. Um, he really liked the train. I have a feeling we'll be back. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed seeing the sights of Summerland. Another view of my hometown. Um, he's gonna be really excited because he's barely eaten today. Oh my gosh. Yeah, fine. What are the pateras? What fun has no onions? Thank you. Thank you. Got a vlog Thomas's birthday. Although his is like virtually gone. And I've just put Thomas to bed as an eight year old. It's so interesting to celebrate his birthday and think back. Like when your kids have a birthday, do you think back of like the day when they were born and what happened? And um, my mom at dinner tonight was saying that she thinks about that whenever it's like my birthday or my brother's birthday or my sister's birthday. Fun fact, when Thomas was born, I don't know if I've ever even told the birth story and to be frank, I'm not someone who remembers like every single detail. I'd almost have to like get my doula, Sally, to see if she would remember. Um, but the night before I was induced, I was induced because they were worried about, I think my blood pressure. And then they did the like membrane sweep, which ladies, if any of you have had that, was that not almost worse than giving birth? Like take a moment of appreciation for everything that women go through when they have the babies. But I remembered um, two days before Thomas was born, we, Jeremy and I went and saw Bridesmaids at the theater and I thought I was going to laugh Thomas out because it was so funny. I remember having like my popcorn on my tummy. Like I was a massive pregnant woman. Um, I didn't gain a ton of weight. I gained like 32 pounds maybe when I was pregnant. I lost the first 20, like within the first week. Anyways, so I was induced the day before and I remember like we went to the local high school track and I walked around trying to get labor going. We went to the mall and I walked up and down. We got like Subway, which I never ate, which is hilarious to think now. And then um, we went back to the hospital and they sent me home with sleeping pills saying like, this is the like last night you're gonna sleep so enjoy it so we did and I can't remember if I was up in the night or not but anyway I was induced and like nothing was happening nothing was happening nothing was happening to the point where I remember there was a nurse shift change at 7 p.m. And they were like, all right, we'll see you tomorrow. Like, there's no way you're having this baby tonight. And Thomas was born at like 9.12, I think, or 9.08 or something like that. So um, things happened. Like, it was like fast and furious. I had an epidural like at the last minute, which was great. I remember I basically had my eyes closed for most of being in labor. Um... And like the doula was there, Jeremy was there obviously, but those were the only two people that we had in the room. Like we didn't have any grandparents in, etc. cetera. Um, and then I remember after Thomas was born, sending the doula for McDonald's, which then neither of us ate, I don't think. Anyways, like it's just so funny to think, cause I couldn't eat cause I was induced. Um, and that's probably enough of the gory details if you wanna know the birth story, but um, yeah, it's just funny to think about, like eight years ago, so much has happened and so much has changed since then. But um, the first thing Thomas did when he was born was he wrapped his little hand around Jeremy's finger, which was just like so precious. Um, but we had a really good day today. Like he loved the train, guarantee I'll be taking him on that steam train again this summer. It was so fun. I think it was, there was like four people who still work there. It's been, 16 years since I worked on the train, so that was really fun. Great to hang out with his grandparents, and then we had a like great sushi dinner, which I showed you with my mom. Came home and opened presents. Of course, he was spoiled. Um, and then, yeah, he went to bed happy. Like, he was just so great all day today. So I'm feeling very grateful. My heart is very full. Um, I really miss Jer. Like, I've really missed him in the last day or so. It's hard. It's really hard to 
have a birthday without him. Like, my birthday is different, but like a Thomas birthday, it just, I really struggle feeling like he should be here. So, yeah, I've definitely thought about him a lot yesterday. Yesterday was really hard. I cried a lot yesterday. And like, I didn't even know why I was upset. Um, and today, I haven't been upset, but he's definitely been like front and center of my mind. Like songs that I heard when we were out in public or just thinking of him like when we were on the train or, you know, obviously like being with his dad and stepmom and stuff. So it's just, yeah, he should be here. So that's hard, but I have been reminded of how much love Thomas has and how much love I have and how many people like really thought of T-Bone today and thought of me. Like I got so many text messages wishing Thomas a happy birthday and messages on social media and he opened beautiful gifts. Um, so I definitely feel the love and don't feel alone, but there is a part of me that just, you know, dare should be here, so. That's, that's tough, but, um, but today wasn't hard. Today was wonderful, and I'm just very reflective on the last year. Like, Thomas's seventh year was huge. He came so far with communication and with his development. He hit so many milestones. Um, he got to meet Elmo. He got to put his toes in the Atlantic Ocean. We had that great trip with Elizabeth last summer. We went to Kitimat for Christmas. Like he's been on, he was on lots of planes in his seventh year and lots of road trips. And um, yeah, seven was a really good year for Thomas. So I'm gonna end the vlog here. I'm just like, it's 8.30, but I think I'm just gonna go to bed, wash my face. <sighs> Ooh, just like bask in the beautiful day that was today. I'm really proud of myself for planning today and for executing today and for all the driving and um, yeah, it was, today was really good. So thank you for watching. Thanks for coming along. I hope you enjoyed the steam train and hanging out on Thomas's birthday and I will see you in the next video. Life's on a sprint, it's a marathon. Lace up and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.